Your statements, the member from Barrie. Thank you, Speaker. Um, I spent a lot of time, as did a, a lot of people in this chamber, recently uh, in Niagara Falls and had the privilege of taking, uh, talking to many of the hardworking citizens there. Unfortunately, these conversations in many cases disturb me because the people of Niagara Falls, Speaker, are worried about their future and, quite simply, they have good reason to be. It's no secret that Niagara Falls is hurting. 40% of all the 300,000 good manufacturing jobs that have been lost in Ontario come from Niagara Falls. From the closing of the John Deere plant to the shutting down of Bix plant, Jarvis Street Pharma, the list is endless, it seems. There's no doubt that unless something changes quickly, the bedrock of Niagara's economy will crumble. This all comes at a time when families in Niagara Falls cannot afford any more job loss. At 8.8%, its rate of unemployment is already the highest in the province and one of the highest, indeed, in the country. There's no sign that things will change. After all, the government's own energy plans call for a 30% increase in hydro prices over the next four years which will only serve to drive thousands of more jobs out of Ontario. Years of Liberal government policies have failed this community, and it's obvious Niagara Falls needs bold change. Unfortunately, Niagara Falls has a new member whose party seems intent on maintaining the status quo. And every chance they get, instead of standing up to job create, for job creation, they choose to stand by a government whose policies represent simply more of the same. Niagara Falls cannot wait any longer for smart policies that will bring back stable, good-paying jobs. The people of Niagara need hope hope they can get back to work. This can only happen if the new Democratic Party decides to stand up and have the courage to do what's right and standing up against this unelected government's job-killing policy. Thank you. It is, uh, I want to thank all members for their statements and the member from Durham on a point of order. Yes, uh, thank you, Speaker. I'd like to put on the record the name of two Olympians from my riding of Durham. One was Tara uh, Wathorn, and she scored the first goal for the Canadian women's hockey team, as well as uh, Matt Morrison. I'd like to make a proper statement next week. Okay, that's you're introducing a guest, I suspect. Uh, thank you. Uh, it is. No, I thank all members for their statements. Um, reports.